Well, I want to share with you a scripture passage from the Bible that just fits with choosing Jesus and being one of the wise men. And it's one of the simple stories that we all know very well. And that is from the Gospel of Matthew, the visit of the wise men. And it says, In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we have observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. And they told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. And this is our shepherd, Jesus. And it goes on to say in verse 7, Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I may also go and pay him homage. And when they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that had been seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. And when they saw the star that had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. And then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. And the reason I want to share this to you today, of course, you know this passage quite well. We've heard it so many times over the years, is that the star is part of salvation history, the calling of the wise men, being warned to avoid Herod. Uh, recently in my sisterhood group we ran a Bible study on locking the mystery of the Bible. I highly recommend it. And it gave a nice overview of salvation history and it really, really gave us a good glimpse that God has an overarching view of all of salvation history and has had it all planned out and it's all held in the heart and mind of God the Father. But the overwhelming thing is that Jesus, when he was born here, and his mother Mary, they trusted in the guidance of the Holy Father and being told what to do when they needed to do it. And they were uh, warned when there were when there was difficulty and they had to flee Herod. Joseph had experiences of angels in dreams. And this is where uh, the wise men came and they bore their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And it really likened me to the angel opening its chest for me and giving me these gifts. And we have our duty as well to bring our gifts to Jesus. We were created by God, given life and love freely by God. And our call is to repent and to turn back to God and give our life back in love to him. And believe me, once you have seen Jesus, know him, developed an intimate relationship with him, it is a joy to give your life to Jesus. It is not a burden. It is a very, very much a great joy. And so we are called also to kneel down with our gifts and to bring, to pay him homage and to share our gifts. And so that's something that I want to leave with you, especially because we've just passed through the Christmas season and that's a well-known Christmas story that I hope all of you find Jesus dwelling there in your hearts and you pay him homage and do your best to bring your gifts to him. And in so doing, you will be in the safest place possible as we head into this new year, 2021. And I leave you with a great blessing from myself, from the Deliverance Network, for every joy as we share these beautiful experiences with you over the next little while, that you have peace in your hearts, the peace that the world cannot give, and blessings to you from myself and the Deliverance Network.